Well, at the European Union summit, leaders have agreed in principle to a major proposal that profits from frozen Russian assets worth $3 billion to supply arms for Ukraine amid Moscow's ongoing invasion. Well, this money would be channeled through the European Peace Facility to buy weapons for Ukraine. However, there is discussion among member states on how the money would be used. Some countries with neutral stances or reservations about arms sales are reluctant about the same. Take a listen. We made very important decisions, especially uh, by making possible to take the windfall profit. There is a proposal put on the table by the Commission. We are determined to act very quickly so that we can take uh, a part of this uh, money to support Ukraine, including uh, this uh, possibility uh, with uh, military equipment. And it shows that uh, the 27 leaders around the table understand the seriousness of the situation. It shows that uh, we are determined to bring more uh, support for Ukraine. I give you one other example. We had uh, the occasion to discuss this Czech proposal, this Czech initiative, very concrete, very operational, in order to make sure that we are delivering what is needed for Ukraine. We know this is extremely uh, urgent. Western banks are raising concerns about the EU's plan to utilize frozen Russian assets. The primary fear is potential legal action from Russia if they're involved in transferring the funds to Ukraine. Beyond immediate liability, banks are also worried about the precedent this sets regarding the use of frozen assets and the potential erosion of trust within the international financial system. Legal experts anticipate litigation as this approach challenges traditional sanction methods. Well, Russia has vehemently condemned the EU's proposal, labeling it banditry and promising retaliation if their assets are confiscated. They highlight violation of property rights and the potential damage it could inflict on foreign financial systems, particularly the trust between central banks. Legal experts predict a protracted legal battle as Russia challenges the legality of EU's plan potentially leading to decades of legal wrangling.